Hello everyone, my name is Anshuman and I'm one of the founding solutions architects at Augment Code. Today we're going to walk through a quick demo of Augment and its features. Before we begin, I want to talk about how first generation AI for Code is architected. They take the user prompt and then do basic searching across the code base. Treating code like flat text, they use grep or off-the-shelf algorithms like creating ASTs or Merkle trees, and then use the same prompt regardless of the feature at hand and have the developer choose the right model for the task. At Augment, we took a fundamentally different approach. We invested in a robust SaaS infrastructure that allows us to do a few things. We can keep a hyperscale real-time index, some customers having over half a million files open in a workspace that we can then re-index at every keystroke. We combine this with our context engine that searches through things like your builds, your interdependencies, JSON schemas, so on and so forth. And then construct a prompt depending on the task at hand, which we then intelligently route through over half a dozen models, proprietary, open source, and frontier that are fine-tuned and pros trained by our AI research team. So for completions, you're gonna want that snappiness and quickness in response, we're gonna use smaller modalities. For chat, where you have your more complex architectural discussions, we're gonna use larger models to give that verbosity and specificity. This context engine extends to our agents as well, which can then be combined with native integrations via MCP or OAuth, uh, also tool calls, so the terminal within the IDE, URL fetching, and web searching. For the demo today, I'm gonna to be starting in VS Code, where I have a large proprietary code base on self-driving cars. Super complex and over 20,000 files. Augment is an extension, so we need developers in your environment of choice, whether it's VS Code, JetBrains, or Vim, or NeoVim. Once I'm authenticated, you're gonna notice that Augment by default indexes my entire code base, and I have no need to pick a model. I told Augment to write some documentation for a dev that might be onboarding to this code base. <clears throat> you notice that it gives a nice little summary. It also looks at my relevant company docs to give a uh, onboarding guide for prereqs, my core components, and then goes into more specifics. So here are the uh, key technical details. Here are the key directories. I can even look at the prereqs for setting up the platform. It also goes into things like my build and environment files to see that I'm using Gradle, um, and here's how I run tests. I can continue on in a multi-turn fashion to ask more follow-up questions, uh, but let's take a real-world example. As developers, we're gonna start from a ticket or a story. I have a linear ticket here that's telling me to add confidence scoring to an image scene that has annotation points, so probably an array, and it's in this block library object. Now, whether I've been here for 10 years or 10 days, it's impossible to keep all that context in my head. I can simply ask Augment as my pair programmer in natural language, where is the data structure for image scene and block library? While Augment's pulling up his response, let's talk about how we can fine tune that context. I can actually go in and update my source folders so I can add additional documentation and repositories to keep in Augment's context. We also have rules and user guidelines. So in natural language, I can give instructions for chat to follow, such as use jest for all unit test output. Now, back in our chat, Augment's automatically found out the scene Scala file, and it goes in and actually gives me a better abstraction of how the code base is set up. So in this scenario, I'm going to go to this lane image point and add a confidence parameter. And you notice that my code completions start to auto-populate. What's happening is Augment's looking at similar data structures that already have a confidence parameter, and it's matching that type because it understands that's my most probable intent. I can continue to add more functions, and you notice that auto-completes kick in. Now, if I don't like what I see, all I have to do is keep typing because Augment contains recency information. So I can say I want to have a confidence method, say update confidence. And you notice that Augment automatically picks up that there's a new confidence parameter and completes the method for me. When it comes to agents, we have two modes, auto and manual. I can actually configure some integrations for my agents where you know, via native OAuth, GitHub, Linear, Notion, even Glean, add MCP, or configure the shell that I want the agent to use. Maybe I have some specific environment setups. So I'm gonna tell the agent I want to add 
a Google SSO login button to my front end and I'll point it to my front end application. And I'm gonna tell it to search the web for the latest OAuth endpoint. Now, while the agent's kicking off and doing his thing, I wanna highlight a few things we've added to make it enterprise ready. We also have what's called Augment Memories, where similar to user guidelines, I can give it natural language instructions, like my implementation details, where I want it to follow a certain naming convention or add a reviewer, which is my best practices. But the agent's actually gonna be able to go in and update this file by itself. So let's see what it added. It figured out that my, <clears throat> my repository path in GitHub is as such. It added the fact that I want to implement Google OAuth and it actually connected the appropriate linear ticket. And it also figured out that here's the file path for where I want that SSO login button. The beauty of memories is the agent's gonna be able to recursively update this file. So there's crucial context shared between all agent threads where you're not having to start from scratch each time. As you can see, the agent's looking through the web to look at the appropriate OAuth docs, and now it's auto-populated the task list so you can keep track of what's happening next. We also have checkpoints. So at each iteration, the agent's gonna create a new checkpoint. So instead of me taking an all or nothing approach, I can revert back to a stable state and kick off the agent from there. The next phase of all of this is remote agents, where now instead of working on a single thread with the agent, I can actually kick off agents that work in the background in the cloud infrastructure where I can then go to a meeting, uh, turn off my laptop for the night, but the agent will continuously run this task and I can spin up five, 10, 15 agents in parallel to do all that toilsome work for me. Here's what it looks like. I can see all of my idle agents. I can look at the appropriate thread and see the differences in the files, or I can even SSH into the remote environment. So for all my JetBrains fanatics out there, we do have an extension in JetBrains IDEs. And as a quick showcase, but a powerful showcase of Augment uh, when it comes to refactoring is I have this server-side code. You can notice that there's a lot of console logs present, which is in best practices. I told Augment to abstract a log utility and to follow MongoDB's logging structure. So first, Augment helps me create that logger utility file. And with the create functionality, it's gonna place it in the appropriate file path for me. Afterwards, it tells me how to actually update my server file. With Smart Apply, it's gonna open up this nice little diff view and I can accept the changes one by one or accept them all. In under 10 seconds, I've already updated my server side code with the logger utility. But here's where the context engine is super crucial. It doesn't stop at just the first phase of the iteration. It actually understands that there are follow-up changes. So it tells me how to update my authentication middleware. It's gonna go on across the code base. So it helps me for the entire task at hand, not just a single step. Lastly, we wanna help enterprise developers in a team sport fashion where documentation is critical along with collaboration. You can actually create a web instance of your chat history through shareable links. I can then share that link with my teammates where they can see the exchange between me and Augment see the logic flow, copy the code into their own environment. And this will persist as long as you have a tenant with Augment. This is a quick overview of Augment code in action. Uh, super excited for you guys to try it out. Please reach out to us and happy coding.